you want to get the best for your tray. It doesn't matter whether it's COVID-19 or 10 years from now, 15 years from now, it does not matter when you watch this video, but you want to be able to get the most for your trade in. Well, I'm glad you asked. How do you do that? Number one is you're looking to trade your car in. What do you do? You do this in the beginning when you get that new or used car. You take it to a dealership and you get it serviced at a place where they report to Carfax. Whether you do an oil change, whether you get your tire rotation or your brakes done, anything that's done on your car, you just want to make sure it's reported to the Carfax. Number two is you don't want to smoke in your car. If you are a smoker, smoke outside your car. Again, if you want to get the most for your trade, you have to do these things in the beginning. You don't want to wake up one day after you owned your car for four or five years and you say, you know what? Hmm, I, I think I want to trade my car in. What do I need to do? You need to start these steps in the beginning. So don't smoke in your car. Number three, even before you go to the car dealership, you can do your homework before you go. No, you can do your homework before you go. You can go to Cali Blue Book Instant Cash and get that value of your car right then and there at your fingertips. At home, you could be at work, you could be at the dinner table. Anywhere you want to, you can get the value of your trade. What do you need? Your VIN number, and you want to know the trim level of your car. You can also go to truecar.com and get that value of your vehicle. You can also go to Carvana and get that value too. And you can also go to Vroom, Vroom.com and get that value. These things are right at your fingertips. You just have to use your knowledge. Use your fingers and use Google and find out the value. That's all about what? Doing your homework on the go or doing your homework before you go. Next thing you wanna do is Take care of your car when you first get it. If you get a ding in your car, or if somebody hits your car and you have a big dent in your bumper or a dent in the door, if you can get it fixed, get it fixed at that particular time. But if you have a small ding in your car and you say you're looking to trade your car in, at the car dealership, it doesn't cost us that much to get a ding fixed or get those small things done on your car. It's because remember, car dealerships, we're in the relationship business. What does that mean? We have companies or small business individuals that that's what they do. We have dent repair guys that come out to fix the dent in your car. That is not gonna cost you that much money because it's about the volume that we do at the dealership. That's what we say. If we have 10 or 15 cars on our lot, that need the dents repaired, we're gonna say because of the volume, you're one person. And if you have a dent in your car and you go to a, a collision shop or repair shop and want your ding repaired, that's what they do for a living. And you're one person. Some dealerships have 40 to 50 used cars on their lot. Some may have 20, some may have 150, and some may have 200. So we do our things, we do our business in volume. So if you have that small dent on your car and you're looking to trade your car and you didn't get it fixed when the first happened, don't go out and just get every little ding fixed because you might be able to save yourself a little bit of money by not getting that ding fixed. So in this video, I hope that I helped you when it came to train your Vigo in, save you with some tips. Because if you do these things as you go, then when you wake up one day, four or five years into owning your vehicle, you would do it as you go. You don't have to go back and say, what a cut sugar. Because if you smoke in your car, there's nowhere in the world you're gonna be able to get that smoke smell out. You would be very surprised that customers that figured it. I smoked in my car a few times. They figured, you know what? I want to get my car detailed because I'm ready to trade it in. Let me just give you a little hint of what we do. We, You bring your car to a dealership and you want to get it appraised. We're looking up under your seat of your car. We're looking for the trash that you stuffed up under your seat and the things that you put in your glove compartment. And we're just looking in the hinges of your doors and just looking at every little bit of your car. So if you take care of your car as you go, 
as you pay, as you go on your car, or you take care of your car like you take care of your credit, or you take care of your car like you brush your teeth, then you'll get more for your trade in the long run. I hope this helps. And if you have any comments or you want to just give me an idea on a topic for my next video, leave the comments in the bottom of this video. All right. And I'll see you on the next video.